in the red corner representing MTK Newcastle. Please put your hands together for Ethan Wilson. And his opponent facing across the cage in the blue corner from Jack's MMA. Let's hear it for Liam Fullerton. All right, ladies and gentlemen, the fighters are locked in for three rounds in this amateur bantamweight contest. Ethan Wilson in the red corner representing MTK Newcastle. Standing opposite him in the blue corner is Liam Fullerton representing Jackson MMA. Both guys looking awfully fired up for this one. What can you tell us about these two guys, Jake? So Ethan Wilson, again, I've been fortunate enough to commentate on a couple of his fights. And we were seeing exactly what he's all about. He's long. He's rangy for the wave. Slip, slip there, though, on a kick. Liam Fullerton looking to make the most of it. But a lovely trip there from Ethan Wilson. Sorry, yeah, as we were saying, he's long, he's rangy. It's what he looks to implement. He's got Patrick Tucker there in his corner, a very, very seasoned grappler. And it shows in Wilson's game. Both of his wins coming by way of submission so far. Absolutely, Ethan Wilson. A very intelligent fighter, I like to, I like to say. He uh, just wants to really see how far he can take his MMA career. He's already seeing himself later in life as a coach. He's got a real mind for the technical aspects of the games and things like that. And certainly keeping a very composed performance here so far against Liam Fullerton. Fighting out of Jack's MMA, very respected gym. Only started training in November 2019, so we're looking at somebody who really has only been training MMA for about a year and a half, but already 1-0 in his amateur career. Yeah, look, it's, it's great to see as well, of course. We did have them a couple of years off that it couldn't be held, so it's great to see the lads who did just start back in training. He's now starting to get out there and being able to experience this. Now, this is a really uh, interesting detail that we're seeing here from, from Ethan Wilson. He's triangling his, his opponent's leg from this top half guard position and that allows you to put a lot more tension on that leg he's left it now but when he had it before it allows you to put a lot more tension on that leg rather than just not having it entirely tied up with your legs we've seen guys earlier in the night not have that leg tied up and then they weren't able to get off the ground and pound because as soon as they postured up their opponent was able to escape but when you triangle that leg the way that Ethan Wilson just did you can get off a lot more effective ground and pound and I mean with limbs as long as his <laughs> it's going to be a lot easier I do oh yeah Although Liam Fullerton has done a really good job of getting back to his guard. Ethan Wilson pressuring with his left elbow on the thigh of Liam. Trying to open up that guard. Fullerton. He's got past the legs. Fullerton staying nice and composed here. Oh, he's got the backing back. Both hooks a in lovely Wilson. body lock pass there from Ethan Wilson. Flattening his man out. Uh, looks under the chin. I think he's got it here. Body triangle on there as well. Really suck the air out of Liam Fullerton. Liam Fullerton straining with everything he's got to try and stay in this fight. He's fighting the top hand. He's doing the right thing, but that he looks tight. Wow, what a performance from Ethan Wilson. We've got your winner from a tap out from a rear naked show at the two minutes, 44 seconds around number one. Declaring your winner in the red corner, Ethan Wilson. And let's you try and up Liam Fullerton.